Hello everyone, my name is Raven, and welcome to Raven Gaming Labs, and welcome back to another Left 4 Dead 2 tutorial. No, as the title says, there is no nav mesh yet. However, what we're going to talk about is uh, funk underscore detail brushes, how to make them, what they're for, and a little bit about visibility. I actually want to have a full video dedicated for just visibility, but for this, you know, I kind of want to cover this so what are funk underscore detail brushes well basically the way that a very simplified overview of how left for dead calculates visibility you know objects you can see is it takes into account brushes and things on the other side of brushes get blocked now there are things like area portals and stuff which we'll cover later but effectively if you just take all your brushes and you know you draw in you know or sculpt in i guess you could say just a whole bunch of detail like for example let's say you had like columns and pillars and all that good stuff right well you probably don't actually need those blocking visibility because the room they're in the walls will actually do the job and they're probably not going to be big enough to actually quote unquote provide proper visibility but if you don't make them a funk underscore detail then the problem you're going to run into is, um, whoops, sorry, is the, the problem you're going to run into is that the VIS tool, when it runs, and I'm going to show you that here, uh, which is this tool right here, when it runs, it's going to run through and it's going to calculate everything. And it's just going to suck up time that it doesn't need to be doing. So let's go ahead and let's actually make like an overhang right here. And... Let's also uh, add in some columns and stuff. Now, this is a very small map, so it actually, you know, does, you know, compute fairly fast. Um, but still. Okay, so we'll make sure in brush mode. And we're just going to drag out. And we'll just go way over this way, I think. And then we'll go right here. And we don't need it to be that tall, I don't think. do want it to go all the way over though awesome and then we'll hit enter and you can see that we have ourselves a lovely little brush there and we're clipping through we don't want that at all and now we're going to double click it okay well when we double click it it's just a regular brush so what we can do is we can hit Control t and now it become a funk detail brush and then we'll hit apply and you'll see that there's nothing in here there's no flags no inputs nothing now, if you don't have uh, collision and so forth and things like that, what you're going to want to do is go to map, map, okay, maybe not misclick though, map, map properties. No, wait, I was actually in the right spot. Yes, you want to go to tools, options, there it is, default solid entity class, you want to pick and make sure it's funk underscore detail. And we're just going to hit escape because we don't want all of that selected. And then I'm going to open up the texture browser, I'm going to select the... Uh, the gray there and i'm just going to right click anywhere i want the perfect okay and now another thing that we can do is we can add in a pillar so i'm just going to switch back over i'm going to change the block type to a cylinder i think i'll make it like 16 or so it's a little over the top if you will um but that's okay and I definitely don't want it to be that tall. Or, you know, clipping through everything there. That should be fine. And I'll just, you know, add one there. And I'm just going to copy it. I'm just going to add another one over here. And I'll just drag this up. Awesome. And we'll just drag this over here, I suppose. Select this one and move it down just a little bit. Now I'm going to have both of them selected. I'm going to hit Control T and I'm going to hit Apply. And I'm going to make sure that they're all funk details. And again, this is going to, you know, it's going to compute relatively quick anyway because, you know, it's a small map. But again, when you have a very large map with a lot of brush detail, you don't need to, you know, calculate visibility where, you know, you don't have visibility. Now, I didn't... I'm not going to mess with like the way the sound triggers and stuff like that. I probably should shift that in slightly, but for the sake of this, it 
it'll be just fine. You know, if we can get in there. Okay. And we'll come down in here. And as you can see, we have some shadows. It's casting shadows here. We're outside into the, you know, dark, the bright light. I don't know why I said dark. It's not dark. But anyway, as you can see, um, it's, a, it's a very simple, very basic pillar. Uh, but what it does have is collision. It casts shadows, but it doesn't affect visibility at all. So, you know, it doesn't block anything from rendering or anything like that. And this is kind of what you want to use it for. So, like, floating platforms or, you know, platforms that, you know, the player walk over, like, a bridge or whatever. Uh, depending on the situation, you probably want it to be a funk underscore detail and not a uh, just a regular brush. Because, again, there's no need to spend time calculating, you know, visibility. And to kind of show you a bit more what I'm talking about, I'm going to use, I've been helping someone uh, as, you know, they run into issues with their map. And there's a there's actually a fair bit wrong with this map, uh, to be honest. Um, like, I like the design, but you know this giant box around here makes calculating visibility really really bad. And yes, it is quite laggy in Hammer. It's fine once you're in game. But the point that I'm making here is is when you have like a more proper full size map, like for example, let's say you, you know. You didn't use a mesh for these rails here. You know, you used, um, you know, a brush. Well, you don't want these calculating visibility because you can see through them. So why in the world would you waste time calculating visibility? So these are like really good uh, examples of that. And yeah, wow, it's really laggy. I, I, I need to uh, assist him on optimizing this level. Like... You know, if you're watching this video, and I'm definitely going to link him the video, um, what you actually need to do is go around the edge of the whole map with brushwork and the bottom, and then put a top on it. And that would massively increase, you know, visibility because you definitely don't want to do this. The reason for it is look at all this open space and not just like here, like look at all of this open space. Yes, it, 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 by the way, this map takes quite a while to calculate the visibility. And the reason for it is, is there's so much massive amounts of open space. So all of this just needs to be, uh, redone, but, uh, I'm going to assist him with that later, but for now, you know, it's not a bad map though. Like having walked around it and all, like I like the art design and all, but. Not super nice to, uh, you know, quick iteration, visibility, and all that good stuff. Anyway, so thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And do remember that, you know, you definitely want to use... Uh, you absolutely 100% want to use funk details on anything that's not going to, you know, be required for visibility. Anywhere you can get away with it, definitely do. I will see you all in the next one. Y'all have a good one. Hey everyone, thanks for watching Raven Gaming Labs. Thanks to all the members and viewers who make RTL possible. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and don't forget to hit that bell so that you can be notified. If you want to become a member, hit the join button or link in the description below. Members get early access to videos, member exclusive content, and more. As well, don't forget to join our awesome community over at Discord. Y'all have a good one.